Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Yuppie Psycho. I'm Robin, to interject without the sea, and hey, it's a really good game, you should play it. But since you're watching the stream instead, uh, let's go over what we did last time. So, playing this Brian Pastanak. And Brian himself is, uh, not meant for this place. He was invited in based on a letter in a world where everybody is ranked according to class. Very explicitly, this dude is class E, F, he, he's a low rank. There are, there are lower ranks, but he's pretty damn low. Doesn't really have a specialization, hired on to hunt a witch in a new office. And so with this weird job that he can't tell anybody, he is, yeah, he is having a hell of a first day if there is one guy who's having a worse first day than Leon S. Kennedy in Resident Evil 2, I think Brian Pasternak's up there. <laughs> Has Colin from Live Man actually showed up yet? I am looking at those words and I am dumbfounded. <laughs> right, um... Colin from Live Man. I don't... I don't know. <laughs> Met a giant mouse in the wall who's all like, John, your leather's good hunter. Don't you want this clue? Yeah, we, we did face a gigantic pair of moist, succulent lips who wanted to consume us. We made it consume somebody else. But uh, don't worry, they're fine. We also met the forest goblin who is not a real forest, and he does not live in a real goblin. I also met Doshi, who is great. I love Doshi. Doshi the IT guy. We also entered the Dot Matrix X lair, which is covered in farts. I don't know how else to put it. Um, none of these words are in the Bible. Don't worry about it. It wasn't my first day at the deli store, but I remember my first weekend being the Canada Day rush with the cashier line going right through the store. Oh. It's Super Toad. Hey, you. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, beans and farts. At least we got an ink cartridge out of it. But, uh, it looks like we're going to have some trouble getting around. Let's take a look at our options. Oh, okay. His head's first open. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's literally fine. Cable ends here. Someone's removed the butt. And we got some extra glow sticks. Okay, we got three free ones because Doshi is a good egg. More ink cartridges. Oh. <coughs> Kate? Are, are you alright? You, you look... You look green. <laughs> the, the poison. Oh my goodness, what do I do now? I, I, I don't have any more anti-gas papers. Don't. Don't run. Don't run. What do you mean? Dot. 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 <laughs> Hang in there, okay. I'll, I'll find a way out. Okay, but we won't run. Oh. I got a slice of cheese. Hell yeah. Uh, you got a push button. It's one of those buttons to move the cube. So we got a, I think it's a similar sound to um, the weird, terrifying Spider-Man that we had to deal with before. And I'm guessing we have to try out. Uh, 
Where did that button go? There we go. Nothing happened. There he is. Oh god. Um. That is actually slightly more terrifying than I was expecting. So. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. It's horrible. I hate looking at it. Talk about God, hate. Ow. Asshole. Nope. This dude peed! He just... I don't appreciate the fact that he just peed everywhere. Just because he didn't like what we were doing. Not cool. Okay. Boop. You know what? I'm gonna buy myself a coffee. I deserve it. I've been working very hard. Okay, what does that do for us? We have moved a little, but it's still blocking the path. Oh. You know what? I gotta guess. We gotta follow these cables to various points. Now that we've hit this first one, we can move this. Nope. I don't love this guy. I have seen some good, goopy, messed up guys in this game, and I don't like this one. This one? You can send it back. No! Okay, we're out of range. You can't pee on us. Oh god, he got them. Fine, jeez. Ugh. This man. This big, freakish, goopy goober. I don't love anything he has going on, and he just did it again. Son of a bitch. Okay, you know what? Eh. Screw this, I'm gonna have a cheese sandwich about it. I deserve it. What do you do? It doesn't even like you walking. Yeah, we really do just have to like, I just gotta be patient. I gotta wait for him to get away. That sounds like a dude getting far away. So it looks like turning off the light completely helps. Think. Nothing happened. Dang. We just need to take it slow. That's all we need to do, right? Yeah. Naturally, there are probably plenty of other points to check out. There are only four, it seems like. And we could take the route of just following each cable very carefully. But that takes a lot of work. Oh, that's an opening. Nope, 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 nope. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh god, okay, run. There we go. Ugh. I wonder if we could have gotten a protective spell for Kate. I don't think we can?
Oh, come on, go away. I don't like you. You're the worst thing in this game. You're a printer made of hands that pees green poisonous goo everywhere. Like, how could I like anything about you? That's not fair. You're trying. Oh no, he's coming back. It's the worst thing in this game so far. You know what, Judge? You're still right. Doing well. Well, actually, we're doing miserably. There we go. Okay, we are now in a new area, so hopefully we can establish a safe route out. The poison's much thicker here. I swear it's coming out of that... Hey? I'd better go back and find another way out. Never mind. Definitely living up to those three or four different people talking about how it's an awful bastard here to rock your shit. <laughs> Yuck. The stench in here is unbearable. Oh god, it's fully animated. What have I gotten myself into? So so was right. This company is rotten inside. <laughs> ah. Okay, the I think the sea is mysterious. Wake up, Samurai. There's poison everywhere. Wait. What am I standing on? It's one of those things. A and Kate's still in there. She can't hold out much longer, breathing that poison. I, I have to get out of here as quickly as possible. I wonder how on earth we're supposed to do with that. Um. Ah. Uh, let's see. Try the buttons, but nothing works. It's a printer. You just have to do the input so much that it creates a gigantic queue. Oh. I guess we're gonna have to think about what we have. Let's see. Maybe. Oh, I don't think we can burn the company, but I think we can. Blood it. Let's see what happens if I mess with some circuits around here. Something's changed. Some of the buttons have lit up. Which button should I press? Ouch. Ouch! Okay. So the buttons are kind of... This is the manual for a dot matrix printer. Well, yeah. I'm going to look at that real quick. Okay. This is not helpful. But it does have one thing. See what this thing does if I ink it up a bit. 
thought it was lit up. Okay, so. I can use these buttons that don't actually do anything. That they say they do, but they do allow me to get around. Got another ink cartridge. Maybe that goes up. Ooh. Okay, so not inject. Out. We go out. And then we inject. No, inject goes down. Print goes up, I guess. Select goes up. And print. Let's just do that. Okay. So left down. Left down, right up. There we go. Okay. Print was stabby. I love a stabby. Well, let's do a stabby. Left down, right up. Nope. Left down, right stab up. Beautiful. I can't wait for the hitbox controller. The stomach on this body looks like a basketball. It's swollen. And look. The worst of all, it's blocking the stairs. Well, then, let's go out. Stop the time. And let's print. Nope. I think we have to select first and then print it. Oh, God. That was weirdly more upsetting than I thought. Whatever, we did it. Oh, dear God. Nope. <laughs> no one liked that. <laughs> no one should have liked that, if I'm being honest. This is the source of the poisonous gas. There must be some way to drain the water. Oh, no. It's moving. Well, it's valve it. Bye. Oh, the poison was also our only light source. The air is clearing. I have to get back to Kate to see if she's okay. Hopefully, this means... <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. I gotta check it out. I have to check Get out! <sighs> There's something shiny in this pocket. Corvo. R. Corvo, employer of Centricorp Industries. It's an ID card that looks like mine, but this one's metallic. I wonder who R. Corvo is. That was. Anything else we can find out? <laughs> Looks like it's dead, but I don't trust it. You know what, Brian? That's a fair assessment of things. Okay, so... Oh god. I don't... I don't love that sound. I did get a slice... Oh, okay. This is just the hive again. We're fine. We're fine! Have I been here before? Oh, we actually don't need our lights either. Handwritten letter from May 5th, 1971. I thought being a nanny would be more comfortable than working in the offices, especially if I'm taking care of a dumb girl, but I don't have to give up for the sake of my mental health. There's another page. I understand the stress the family's going through, and that it's a bad time to leave my position, but... That witch has not stopped crying in the last three days, and her crying gives me goosebumps. Ah, uh, poor girl. Poor nanny. But who's the bad guy in this situation? It's a table with several plastic candles. It says offerings may be made to the most holy AM. Shall I make an offering? Five credits? Yeah, sure. Aw. 
Yeah, that witch indeed. Ooh, a snake with a crown. We've gotten a few illustrations. It's hardly the first. Because we've also gotten this one. I wonder what all that would mean. But, like with most of these, it's a piece of the puzzle, right? Sheet of witch paper. Oh, hey, who's that cool guy? Rummage in the trash. That's what your sort like, isn't it? Oh, it's you. So that's where he's been, and he thinks he has the high ground here. Okay. That's fair and fine. Emergency exit. Out of order. Ah, yeah, this is floor two. Okay. And we need to hurt. <coughs> Kate, are you all right? Oh, hi, Brian. I was trying to get some air. I feel a little dizzy. Wait, come with me to the fifth floor. It's safer. How are you feeling? I'm doing much better. Thank you, Brian. I breathed in some of that green gas, but it's nothing, really. I'm sorry if it's none of my business, but why did you go into such a dangerous place? I got a call from my boss telling me that I had to take some photocopies there. I thought I could do it by holding my breath, but when I realized I was starting to get dizzy, your boss... Did he say his name? Um, I don't think so. Why do you ask? It's nothing. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. The important thing is that you're okay. Is, is something wrong? Nothing. It's just that... <laughs> I can't believe I left my work unfinished. What do you mean? I'm incompetent, Brian. I'm not up to the level of this job. Kate, don't say that. I'm worthless. I should have prepared a lot more and Kate. Stop for a second, please. Listen to me. It's not your fault. But no buts. Kate, this company is sick. And it has nothing to do with you. It's been like this for years. It is a bit of a weird company. But what do you mean it's sick? Well, it's... There's something very bad that's corrupting everything and everyone. I don't think I understand you. Well, well. Kate. Yes? Let's get out of here. What? Let's quit this damn job. But Brian, he already knows that I'm just a village boy, and maybe I'm not very cool or fashionable once you put me in the capital, but I can assure you of one thing. There's got to be something better than this for the both of us. Especially for you, Kate, all, with all the study you've done. To tell you the truth, I had a dozen offers in addition to Cinture Corp. Maybe... Maybe it's not such a bad idea. Of course. So, let's have that coffee you promised me, but outside this madhouse. You know what? You're absolutely right. We don't have to put up with all these freaks. We deserve a better place than this. Let's go get that coffee. Parsnip! Oh, right, there's a guy on a horse. Bravo, Parsnip! Bravo! I knew that deep down in that flaccid, bent body, there was a real man. A Spartan warrior. A conquistador. Um, what do you mean? The poisonous stench. The green gas that flooded part of the building. 
the whole company is talking about the same thing. How the fifth floor rookie confronted the dot matrix and put an end to that nasty pestilence. Here's a fun fact, Lindsay. Parsnip is the nickname he gave our main character. The horse's name is Dada. Which is also an amazing horse name. Ah, well, is that true? Uh, no, but I just... <laughs> Don't be so modest, Parsnip. You must know I've appointed you employee of the month as of the day. Forgive my terrible manners, miss. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is... Wait, 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 thanks. But... No. Sacre bleu! We're leaving the company right now. <laughs> oh, you're a first-rate prankster, Parsnip. Leave your first job on the first day? With how difficult it is to find work in the capital. Such an indelible blot on your resume. It'd be like wearing shit on your face for the rest of your life. <laughs> Dada ain't happy either. Dada has asked me to tell you that he does not overlook your progress with the task entrusted to you. You're a model employee. Keep it up, Parsnip. Don't listen to that guy. He's out of his mind. Come on, shall we go? Hold on, Brian. He's got a point. Who, that fool? Leaving on the first day of work would be a mark against us for the rest of our lives. And not to mention that we'd have left one of the best companies in the world. But, but, but Kate, it's too dangerous to stay. You saw it for yourself. You're a good partner, Brian. And I know you'd do it for me, but I have to prove to myself that I can also be the employee of the month. What? No, 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 no. I'm a hillbilly, Kate. Really, let's get out of this place. I'll make you a deal. We think about it until the end of the day. And then we decide. <sighs> and, hey, we can still get that coffee, right? What do you say we meet in the canteen later? Okay. Uh. Hi, AJ. And with that, have a data. You want context? Too bad. Anyway, I do enjoy how Brian bravely fighting the dot matrix was literally just him running away and hiding. Also, Kate breaks my heart, right? Oh, God, you know what? We have something to do. We gotta go to the archives. I know we've got other stuff to do. But I have another entry. In the video Mysterio. Oh, you know what? This isn't the way. Hello, mother. How are you? We're gonna run back, and I don't quite remember exactly where this is going to be, but I believe the Mysterium is this room right here. And anytime we find these videotapes, I want to watch. Yeah, we're flooding it. Oh, it's good. The weary human face. Hell yeah, I'm glad.
Anyway, that was neat. I just had to make sure we saw that. Let's go talk to Silsa, our fellow club member, about the movie we just watched. Because honestly, Kate, Sosa, Mappy, Doshi, these are the people I love. It's a good little movie. I'm not going to lie. I've reached a point in my, it, in my life where I look at stuff like that and go, that's really cool. And also, I want to make that. Oh, that's a lot of credits. Anyway, let's say hi. Hello. Can't hear you, but if you want something I'm selling, just take it and leave the money. Aw. I don't love that he's just standing there, watching. There was a fallen grave. Oh, we may have done that. Oh! Look who's Dane in the stop by his office. Hugo, I want to talk to you. I have nothing to talk to you about, Mr. Employee of the Month. Oh, wow, he turned on us quick. Uh, hey, uh, but... So it turns out he's not our friend. <laughs> Piece of old paper here. It's a good drawing. I wonder if we can find... So this is somewhere. We broke Hugo's streak. That's right. He was the only employee of the month forever. For as far back as we've seen. Hang it, Robin. Sticking around in a crummy job to protect your friends is how they get you. It is how they get you. Regrettably. <laughs> I think I heard a laugh around here somewhere. Boo. Sosa? What are you doing in there? Is he gone yet? Hugo? Yeah, he just left. Oh, he's pissed at you. You're my hero, Pasternak. <laughs> no, Sosa, I, I'm not a hero and I don't want to be... Uh, pardon me, I, I, I didn't... Are you stressed out? I can do acupuncture. No, well... I don't know. Maybe I'm stressed out. I, I just can't take it anymore. I, I want to leave, Sosa. This place is a nightmare. Why don't people leave? Why don't we all leave? Because we can't. What do you mean? We're trapped. Her power is so great that, without realizing it, you are under her influence from the very moment you enter the building. The more you get involved, the more time you spend working, the more you use those cursed papers. Oh no, I used like eight. It's sucking you further and far further in. What, what are you telling me? Is there no way out of here? Are, are we locked in this nightmare for life? A lot of people jump from the rooftop, but there is a much better solution. The definitive solution. Kill but you already knew that, didn't you? Uh, what do you mean? Mappy told me she saw you looking for that old book in the archives. I keep imagining she's voiced by Jason Mantzoukas. God, if I could do a Jason Mantzoukas impression, A. I'd have a very different job right now, and B, I'd be a lot more fun at parties. Mappy told me she saw you looking for that old book in the archive. Huh? Ah! Well, that, I, I, I got lost, and I've seen you use those papers from her to photocopy your soul. You've been wandering around the building since you got here, and now the poison. You're a hunter, Pasternak. What? What? The hunting? What? Me? No. <laughs> hunter for what? So if you're not a hunter, remind me again what your job is in this company. 
That's curious. You told me before that your job was notary management of members. But that wasn't an option. Uh, yes, of course. That's my secondary job. Uh, okay, I'm I, a hunter. Well, at least I've been hired to do that. I don't really... Uh, Oza? Are you alright? I finally found him! <laughs> You're scaring me. Are you the... I'm the number one hunter fan. Tell me everything, Pasternak. Wow, you really made me piss myself. Uh, I mean... Are you an esoteric magician? Or, or, or a necromancer? <laughs> no. <laughs> no way. Can we do an interview for Video Club Mysterio? Hey, wait, wait. You can't tell anyone. Of course, how silly. The most important thing is to work incognito. But let me be your assistant. What? No. It's super dangerous. For now, if, if you don't tell anyone, that's enough. Okay. No one? No one? No one. Not even Mappy? He's my only friend. I'm your friend. Well, you can tell Mappy, but only her and no one else. Oh, thank you, Pastor Knack. I can, you can rest easy. Nobody speaks to us. <sighs> what do you know about the witch hunt? Also, this is the greatest plot twist ever. That was a beautiful send up. That was like just a set up and knock down for the ages. That was so good. I am. Sosa is like my favorite character in this game. <laughs> just that creepy smile. And it was like, oh no, that's just Sosa being Sosa. <laughs> What do you know about the witch hunters? They're almost like a legend in the company. Something from many years ago. This company was created by the Sintra family who lived in the same building. They wanted to put an end to her, so they set in a motion. Uh, they set in motion a plan to hire the best arcane expert in the world. And none of these professionals could kill her? Obviously not, Pasternak. They were very close, though. It is said that there were three who almost succeeded. E. Nazari, A. Moeta, and R. Corvo. Hey, we actually know two of those names. And then what happened? It's a mystery. All three of them disappeared. We know of an A.M. who was kind of deified here and is what those shrines are dedicated to. Uh, take a look at this, Sosa. Can't be. Where did you get it? It was on a dead body on the second floor. Years ago, hunters received these special metal cards. Pasternak, this is our Corvo's IP card. Was he important? Of course! The most important one of all! Use a Bokor, a voodoo master, an expert in black magic. Oh, I've got shivers. Aren't you going to try it? Try it? Of course! I'm sure these ID cards work with the old computers. Like, this one I use? Exactly. Um, I'm, okay. Oh dear. I'm afraid something's gonna happen to Sintra. Let's see what happens if I use our Corvo's ID instead of mine. Uh, what's going on here? Oh. Oh. Uh, Sintra? All right, let's explore this space a little more. Her smile is so weirdly endearing in a Junji Ito's life of cat sort of way, right? She's just adorable. And terrifying. Terrifyingly adorable. Yeah, the old computer. Ah! Oh god, that is a glitched out Sintra. Well, oh, that you were here. We're coming to Sintra for Mr. Corvo. I hope first 
Rod struck the and last. Well, I couldn't make sense of that. Okay. Oh god. I turned the lights out on myself and got scared. <laughs> oh god. Whoa. Oh, that's not. Bell, bell, bell. Two, eight, zero, six. Enter. Bell, bell, bell. Two, eight, zero, six. Uh. Okay. Zendra is calling from Live Man. <laughs> oh god. So, are we... Hmm. Bell, bell, bell. 2806. Oh! Everything makes sense now. Hey, does anybody want to know what... Colon from Live Man looks like? It's not what you think. It's just Sintra. I love that. It's a fun design, too. That's a bit of a Sintra. It's a Sintra-like. Bell, 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 2806. Okay, so. I'm gonna write that down for myself. Give me the ability to write... Me. Bell, bell, bell. 2806. Is it actually going to be anything? I don't know. I'll miss the, well, the road over my office, as so on, as bot has the. <gasps> oh, loading mail. Come back. Come back, floating corrupted mail. <gasps> Whoa. Hey. At the girl's grave. Okay. So there are some details here that are... I Okay, so... I want to talk a little bit about game design for a second. <laughs> but I'm too scared. No. Um, what's going on here is really interesting in terms of, like, just making this something that is... in line with everything that this game has done so far. It is essentially really focused on exploration. It's about finding details that you wouldn't otherwise find. And most of the puzzles have been like this. Like, it is not about necessarily solving things. It's about gathering clues in an environment, making sure you understand the space, as opposed to simply moving from point A to point B. You don't solve the space, the space helps you solve the puzzle. Um, which is a really hard line to draw. Like, I think most games tend to use the space to try and just, like, navigate you to a solution. And not actually, like, let you use the space as part of the puzzle itself. And I think that's something that this game is kind of doing in an interesting way. And it doesn't have to do that. It can kind of get by on just like being weird. It can just get by on like moving you from point A to point B. Like I remember our playthrough of Eve, which is very similar to this, where knowing how everything is set up, knowing how everything is like, available to you in any capacity is really important. And I think this game kind of takes what Eve does but a step further and um, takes this museum style of design and makes it so that you actually do have to pay attention to where you've been, not just to where you have to go. 4-14-71. That is very close to some of the dates. That is a little under a year before the one from the load uh, the load entry. 
I enjoy the difference between Cinter's web, which is all open and relaxing, and Corvo's busted up labyrinthine mess full of ghosts. <laughs> it's an internal report. Project Cornucopia. April 14th, 1971. Backup copy updated. Observations. The subject does not seem to suffer or remember anything from the procedure. Future experiments could study whether we can modify one of these copies and integrate one into part of our network. Do all these share... Okay, so... These are all the same thing. It's an empty painting. There's a plaque that says The Devil's Blood. What about these? Different book lying on the floor. Can we read any of them? Not yet. There's another place we can check. But it's weird that Sintra isn't around. Let's see. Let's see if she's got something going on over at the swing. If she's not here, then that's concerning. Her absence is suddenly felt because she's the one who hired us. Then again, we did break a rule. We have officially told somebody we're a witch hunter, which she explicitly told us not to do. But, can't really do anything about that now. So, oh. Horse man gone. Hello? Nope. Oh, damn. Okay, so we can go to the canteen, but originally he was blocking door F. Shadowed synthwave, like an old warehouse with the lights off. Yeah. I, I am very into that. Um, it says, offerings may be made to the most holy AM. Yeah. <gasps> Cute. Did I hear a door open somewhere? Oh, just people opening doors everywhere. Now I'm employee of the month. Okay, let's see if there's anywhere we can go. We can go meet Kate. <gasps> hey, this lady! Pastor Nag, are you a man of flesh or blood? Uh, well, I, I'm a man of blood? Ooh, I'm waiting to see your t you turn into one when the time comes. Me, 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 I'm a man of blood too, Malone. Shut up, stupid. I don't have anything to say to her. I'd better talk to her later. And this lady. Hi. Rostov, right? Oh, uh, hello, darling. How are you doing? How's your first day at work? Well, it could be better. I saw you look a little bit lost at the motivational meeting. If you want, I'll give you the details on what's what on our floor in no time. Leaving aside the zombies. You got Sosa and Nappy. The best friends, but they only talk to each other. I think they're a couple, because I'm sure this level of social exclusion can't be normal. Anyway, you already know Sosa. Mappy, since you asked, is even worse. And did you notice her face? There is something wrong with that girl's skin. Poor thing. Then we got that lizard over there. Malone. I think she's listening to you. Good. Did you know she used to be my friend? Well, I'll tell you about it another time. You try not to get too close to us. There's Colonel Dumont, also. You already have first-hand experience with him. He has delusions of grandeur. But he actually has a minor position. I'd say he's actually beneath us. And Hugo? Oh, Hugo. You've named the worst of them all. He's a pig, a jerk, a prankster with no rights. But he's been with the company the longest. He was there before I got here. And so, if you have any problems, he's the one who knows the company best. And... He's always willing to help. Look at this. I was having trouble sleeping, and Hugo gave me these pills. A miracle cure. 
Wow, those are some big bags on the eye. Do you want help? Uh, sure. All right. Thanks. It could come in handy, although I usually sleep like a log. Yeah, go on. You don't know what it's like to actually sleep until you try them. Speaking of Hugo, by the way, it's his birthday. And we're throwing a surprise party in the canteen later. Oh, well, maybe I'll drop by. I'll see if I have time. What? He's your office mate. You have to go. And more importantly, you have to help us prepare everything. You can't run away, honey. You've been warned. Okay. We also haven't had an opportunity to navigate this place. So let's just get a lot of water. Dig through the trash. Get our credits back. A financial article from May 1971. It was cut out. The swift and unexpected fluctuation of the shares of Centricorp, one of the most reliable companies of the last decade, has called into question the world's major stock exchanges. Experts predict that if the situation continues until the end of the year, the international community could enter an, into an unprecedented recession. And did it? Uh, hello. How are you? Okay, all right. Super good, hyper good, mega good, ultra good. Well, that answers that. <laughs> hello. How are you? I cannot. I said no. I'm sorry. No, but no. It's impossible. Okay. Everyone here is weird. We're just going to leave this room. Don't have to worry about it. Not our problem. I'm not going back in there. <laughs> okay. So. Bell, 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 2806. Hmm. Well, we can go say hi to Kate in the canteen, I think. That is a big pile of poop, I will admit. We also got a note about the girl's grave. Help, please. No, oh, please, you're all crazy. <sighs> Were you asking for help? What? <laughs> what me? Please. Man, please. Why don't you just go out there and rummage through the trash? I'm trying to concentrate on my work. Work? But what exactly are you doing here? It's none of your business. You're all moving non-stop, but I don't understand what for. Of course you don't understand with your brain underdeveloped due to malnutrition. In any case, what difference does it make? There must have been some confusion. It's obvious this is not my place. Pretty soon, I'll be on the top floors of this building, higher than anyone else. Do you know which family I belong to? The family Chapman? No? How could they drag my last name to the mud like this? Damn it, my father saw me now. If you don't want to be here, why don't you change floors? Huh? change floors. What a groundbreaking idea. But how could I do that? The elevator's right there. You think I'm a moron? I know the el damn elevator's right there. You, you think I don't see it? They won't let me go, you douchebag. If I could, I wouldn't be here with this rattle running around like a chicken without a head. Hmm. The only way out of here is with that stupid game. What game? It's some kind of absurd test. If you manage to win, your badge is automatically upgraded, and you can move up to the next floor. And you haven't tried yet? Me? Yeah, well, no. It just... I'm not sure of the rules. And you know what they say, a businessman never participates in a game uh, with without knowing the rules. The Art of War, Sun Tzu. Well, good luck with the game. I'll see you around. W wait. You see, I just had a brilliant idea. You could be in it for me, uh, Mr. Patson. I do you remember my name now? Oh, come on, man. Don't be like that. I'm sure that in the suburbs where you come from, you're used to playing these kinds of 
poor people's games. What do you say? Will you help me? Yes. All right. I'll participate in the game, but you owe me one. Aspenak, you may be from a miserable class, but you've already managed to earn something of incalculable value. My respect. Uh, can I get an upgrade on that? Uh, what am I supposed to do? Press that button next to the door. When they ask you who you are, you have to say my name. That's how you get into the game room. Here, take my ID in case you get in trouble. Okay. Do you wish to participate in the promotion test? What's your name, Mr. Chapman? So, I'm Mr. Chapman. Okay. Please, come in, Mr. Chapman. Oh, God. Welcome, Mr. Chapman. The test will begin immediately. Uh, hold on a second. What are the rules? What am I supposed to do? This is an autonomous system. It is the only judge of when you have or have not passed the test. Three, two, one, go. Okay, two glow sticks. Let's see. Uh. Huh. So, huh? No. No. Okay, I get it now. We got. We got a touch. Oh, we gotta touch all the people with happy faces. The test is over. We announced that Mr. Chapman has failed the promotion test. We invite you to try again when you are better prepared. Okay. That's what we gotta do. Three, two, one, go. So we need to avoid brownie faces. And greet those with happy faces. Ah, there's the ticket. Some of them coming in uh, with their backs turned. We have to pay attention to whether they have an X or a heart. It's like a super bizarre squid game. Like somebody's gonna die if I do this wrong. That wasn't anybody I needed. Oh, the test is over. Oh, starting test number two. Oh, is this a logic game? Why did you put this on my head? Oh, he has his own little thing for it. Okay. We just have to pick up the briefcase. Nice and simple. See, now this is just a fun little uh, distraction. Oh, the test is over. Ah, okay, so do not go after the papers. Oh, this is just going to be like, <gasps> oh good, they did a nice. So, we can fail a test, but once we succeed at it, we don't have to play it again. That's simple. That's nice and simple. Uh, so while we're doing this, because this is going to be nice and slow, how is everybody? I myself am you know, good and tired. I'm going to have a nice long rest. We'll be back with stream tomorrow. Looking forward to that because I think I think we're pretty close to done. Maybe. <gasps> Ooh. Kind of treating this like a rhythm game by this point. Try to finish Lad Guidance story tomorrow, if only so I can get started on the Lad 8 demo. Yeah. Made corn chowder today. Ooh, hell yeah. 
I haven't had a good chowder in a while. I know we got a corn casserole coming for uh, Food's Giving. Which I'm excited about because it's a very good recipe. Oh. Looks like some of them are thyme? The test is over. Oh god. A, a, a beach? Starting test number three. Three, two, one, go. But, okay. You got two glow sticks. Oh, well, that wasn't what we were supposed to do, I think. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Also, I got paid for a writing commission and managed to buy something very interesting. Ooh, hell yeah. Still tired from spending my one day off being social. It was good, though. And work was nice today. Big chill now started Quinoa, too. Oh, hell yeah. Did you have, like... What is your deal? Do I, do I have to stop you? I guess I do. Huh. Yep, okay. It's just gonna take me a minute to figure this one out. Uh, but yeah. Sounds dope. Uh, Klonoa 2 is a lot of fun. I haven't finished that one. It's a good game. No. 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 You don't, you don't get to go on vacation. Apparently, you do not get to go on vacation. Oh, so with a certain amount of resistance, they will eventually give up. Okay. I don't love that. <laughs> I don't love the message this is sending. Oh god. Oh god. No. No. You guys, you gotta get back. There you go. No, no, no. No, vi no vacation for you. No, just no. Just no. You don't get to. You don't. You don't. Okay, I think the one on the left will eventually give up. I'm good, but my tummy hurts. Huh, B? I'm sorry your tummy hurts. You're being so brave about it. Okay, I think, yeah, that one's going to get cranky. And it's done now. Oh god, oh god, oh god, everything's going wrong. Damn! That's tough. Gorgeous, but I feel like Klonoa feels heavier than in one. Yeah, it's definitely a different kind of game. Um, it's also just like tougher. Oh, let's see. Okay. I feel like we have a bit better peripheral vision with the glow stick. Not much. It'd be easier if we put a glow stick on the ground to keep the sides lit up. Ooh, you know what? You're right. So I'm gonna kind of drop more than I needed to, but... Ooh, it looks like we can also stop multiple guys at once. No! No! Hell yeah! Oh, bro, that was a great idea. Thank you for suggesting it. Come on. Yeah, there you go. No vacation for you! None. None whatsoever. Okay, you're good. Two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Yeah. Take about nine or ten seconds before they give up. 
So if you can hold them off for a little bit, you're good. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, yeah, this is fine. This is working, this is working. We'll push him back as far as we can. It will eventually give up. Some of them have a little bit of a cushion, a little bit of a, a physics to this. The test is over. We announce that a new employee has passed the promotion test. Congra congratulations, Mr. Chapman. You're now a third floor worker. Cheater, cheater, cheater. Shut up, you jealous bastard. <laughs> I bid you well farewell, my friends. I'm going to the third floor. It can't be worse than this. Well, it's about to get worse. Hey, wait, I'm coming up too. Oh. Uh, we should have asked for the 10,000 credits. Yeah, we're just gonna follow him. Screw it. Promotions! Oh god, he's on the same floor as Doshi. That's it! I can't stand this place anymore! What happened? What happened? You promoted me to a shitty floor. That's what happened. I'm not staying here. Either you promote me to the fourth floor, or I'm out of this company right now. Okay, bye. Do whatever you want. I, I can't promote you anymore. You owe me. I don't owe you anything. I, if anything, it's the other way around. <sighs> well, fuck you. Um. Huh. I guess, uh. I guess he didn't leave. <laughs> also, guess he doesn't have an ID card anymore, numb nuts. It's you! That's right, we still have it. We can pin so many crimes on him right now. Ooh, there is still this shrine over here. Can't be too difficult to fix. Uh, what if we... Wait. <gasps> there was a loose wire. It should be working now. Hell yeah. I fixed the shrine. I'm good at this. Time to frame him for stealing office supplies. Of course. We gotta. Right? Right. Let's make a bunch of noodles. Just kind of get stocked up because we do have to get a save going soon. Yes, make a cheese sandwich. I want a cheese sandwich. Okay, let's talk to him. What happened to you on the third floor? Mind your own business. Have you got me that promotion to the fourth floor yet? You've got some nerve, haven't you? Why do I have to help you move up again? What do you mean, why? Doesn't the word friendship mean anything to you? But we're not friends! Sorry to tell you that, but it's just that... Don't ever speak to me again. You hurt my feelings. You know what? Fuck you, man. Don't ever speak to me again. We are not friends anymore. Unless you get me promoted to the fourth floor. Ah. What an asshole. So, how do we frame him for stealing off the supplies? And also, this is the fourth floor he wants on so bad. I just want everybody to know this. Now, part of me wonders if I should just... Sorry, I had a thought. No, I don't have it anymore. Um, part of me thought... 
we could potentially use a cursed item. I feel like supply thieves would get a really bad fate in this company. Unless they put them on sale. Ooh. There's some stuff we never found. And we found it now. Still not a great place to be. It's time to have an anxiety attack. Okay, still no sign of Sintra. Um, so now I'm wondering, what all can we do? Huh. Things are kind of like in a weird area right now. Let me, let me, oh my God. That was rude. Maybe somebody could help me? No. Okay, so we talked about meeting Kate. It's not like Sintra can leave. She must be off screen. Yeah. I do have a clue about visiting the grave. But we still don't really know how to do that. Um, we can also probably go back to the third floor and talk to Doshi. Maybe he has an idea. We can also go to the Office of Human Resources. Maybe that giant mouth has something to say. Like, who knows? Also... No, I don't think we have anything that would suit Doshi's needs. Does this code tell you anything? Bell, 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 2806. Bell, bell, bell. Doesn't ring a bell, mate. But one thing's clear. If it's a code, there's got to be somewhere you can enter it. Huh. A place where we can enter a code. Have we seen anything like that that would fit at least a four-digit serial number. I don't think so, but this door is open. And we haven't had an opportunity to check it out. A very special employee has come to visit us. Could you stop making noise for a few minutes? But please be quiet. There's a message. It says, in the absence of the chief of security, I will take over his position temporarily. After the latest incidents, I think our work in the company is more valuable than ever. Hmm. Ooh. And I'm also seeing some interesting things. Five. Anything happen if you're Chapman in the computer? I know Corva's ID had a... <gasps> okay, so... Oh, what was that? Something bugged. Something bugged in a really interesting way. In, in a really interesting way. In a really interesting way. Um, I, I do have to try that, bro. I got it, right? What? <laughs> no, no, no. Why don't you ever listen to me? I'm telling you, it's full of poor, smelly people. It's like a zoo in here. They sent me to the second floor, Dad. The fucking second floor. Shame on them. Now? Well, out the door. I, I'm getting out of... What? What are you talking about? Are you crazy? No, I'm out of here. Fuck, no! I tell you, no! No, no, and no. Dad. Forgive me, Daddy. Please. Daddy, please. I, I just don't want to be here anymore. I promise you that when... Daddy? Shit! He's got some shit to work out. But that is not my problem. 
Oh. Huh. Is that supposed to happen? I don't know, but I haven't saved. Anyway, here we go. <laughs> Someone's having nepotism fire back on you. Hello? Something lying next to him. A security card. Okay. Let's see, where can we use that security card? Oh God. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Oh God, oh God. Let's have a Snickers. Oh God, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> okay, so I think he's on a patrol route. Um, let's eat some noodles about it. Maybe. He won't be able to... Yes! He just got a plushie a few days ago. Ooh. Oh, no. Not our problem. Wait. I don't think it's good to push that one all the way up. I am second guessing that. Oh, hey, a place to save. Let's just go ahead and do that in the middle of a danger zone. Okay, God, so, oh, uh, another security card. Okay. Maybe, man, what do we do with all these cards? Oh, hey, come on, Doshi, are you ready? Take it easy, man. Fixing one of these things takes time. What's the rush? It's none of your business, okay? Fix it as soon as possible. Okay. How are we doing on batteries? We're still doing surprisingly well. Um, I'm also going to just go ahead and take the opportunity to... I should face the mine first. Okay, we've been here. Are there all these security guys being eaten by wires? I don't know. And I'm concerned. There's a message. It says, after the security breaches, I am forced to personally connect to all the cameras in the building. This is an exceptional situation and we are limited in time. Sticky. I'm requesting that you use the new high-speed writing to wiring to facilitate the connections. Um... Maybe green areas are safe, or... Hmm. It says, I received an order to replace all the security monitors. The new format will be 16 by 9, more panoramic and modern. I hate it. There are all those four three devices. The discarded material will be stored in the general coordination room. I wanted to keep it for me. Ooh, and we got more pencils. Do we get nothing? I guess not. Not every camera works. Ooh, this is... the outside of a library in the archives. Doesn't look like anything's going on, though. <gasps> can we find, please, a blank VHS tape? It's empty. I can record anything I want on it. Interesting. 
Huh. Well, the obvious solution is when we find something we want, we can plug it into one of the locations there. And record the video footage. But why would we? And you know what I told him? I said, fuck you. I'm not doing it. It's not my job. You should have seen his face. Since I started smoking, it's all benefits. I feel like I have a lot more personality and my self-esteem is through the roof. And best of all, the smoke break. My mates can't stand the smell, so I have to come here to smoke. Thanks to this new addiction, I can sneak out whenever I want. It's almost like being sick, but being healthy. Don't you think I'm great? You're an asshole who won't stop talking about himself. Oh. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's really good. Um, okay. We got another TV. Plug this into the screen, but I can't pull up the cord out with my hands alone. Unplug me! Okay. Where's this? This is floor nine. We haven't been up here yet. I hate how quiet it is. Is this what security room people are like? All like go through all the time? Because I hate this. Hot chocolate time. Ooh. Yes, hot chucky. Actually sounds pretty good. Did you know I can like press my nose against the microphone? Uh, on the against the windscreen for it. Just sit there and enjoy myself. Oh god! Hey, wait! Card plot problem. Oh. So. Huh. How do they establish. Okay. Interesting. So. We plug in the security cards to these. There are at least five. And if we find them all, we can open up that door in the back. Ah! Don't look at me, don't look at me. Do not look in my direction. Get the fuck away from me, get the fuck away from me. Please leave me alone. Also, a tiki taka is one of these. Ooh, I gotta see. Oh god. Yeah. Incoming tiki taka. It literally just clackers. 10.30 p.m. kitchen experimentation! Let's go! Okay, so I gotta follow this lady. But I also gotta see where some of the stuff leads. Well, I finally made use of a closet. Only unsweetened cocoa powder and granulated sugar, so we're winging it. Honestly, I think Lark might have a good thing for that because we tended to use uh, unsweetened cocoa powder. Soy milk cancels out the sugar, you see. Yes, true. That's just science. All right. That's another security card. And hey, we know that room. It's not quite the top floor. But it's good to know things... The more things change, the more things stay the same. Terrifying. There's a message. It says, 
Security brief breaches are constant. 58 weeks of full Taka connection to the system. Save me, save me, unplug me, Tiki Taka, she saw me. Well, that explains a lot. Also, is there any way... Okay. We can unplug everyone. I like that. Let's do that. Let's save everybody. It's an old, it's an old game. Ideas, you put your finger through the ring and try to swing it in a way that makes the two balls clap, making a tiki-taka noise. You got to do the thing that makes the two balls clap. That's just science. Oh, God. It's HR. Okay, well, I don't want to go that way. Whoa. No, nope, nope. Enderjack, unplugged. Nope. Don't love that. <sighs> For some reason, I found bread. Yet again. It's not gay. Unless the balls are black. Oh, no. Did I screw this up a little bit? Oh. I can block them off. But unfortunately, it also blocks me off. Okay. Run. <laughs> Just run. Don't worry about it. Okay, we've been here, right? It's a little hard to tell. Unfortunately. Oh. Duck down. We need to go over here. No. No. Where was this girl? Thank you. Get over here. You little rascal. Okay, we've been a lot of these places. And I think she just went up north. Ugh. Okay. I mentioned I wanted to go down and unplug all these TVs. And I still think that's a good idea. run around, see what we can find. We're not going to try too damn hard, but we are going to try. Oh, God. Eh. Dude, I got shit to do. You need to get out of here. Okay, that's not where I want you to go. Let's see. I can go this way. Filing cabinet bread. Exotic. Yeah, you turn left. You turn left. See what happens. Oh. There is good intent, and also I hate it. Okay, but we, we've seen a grate with five on it. There... Anything we can do with that? I mean, we can just keep using the screwdriver, which has worked for everything. This is the most unrealistic part of this game. Um, the exit's blocked. I can't get through here yet. The most unrealistic part of this game is that one screwdriver fits all. Ah. You gotta get out of here, man. I don't like you. Still doing good on battery life. I need you to leave. Let's see. Ah, another TV. I think that's all the ones we've seen. It's a double-ended screwer. Can't not get screwed by this. Okay. It's a screwdriver from Doshi, our bestie. Of course it's ideal for every occasion. You know what? It might be one of those where if you take off the tip. It has like a whole bunch of other potential screw heads like sitting inside the handle. I love those. They're quite nice. 
I have two sets. All right, so he's gonna go that way. We're gonna keep going. Hoping. Okay. This part being blocked off is concerning to me, but I can't really do anything about that. Let's head up, and hopefully we have we have one more security card. Huh. Keep an eye out, see if we have any more. No. Like, they're just extremely handy. You know? I like them so much. Meanwhile, I looked into Twitter, and Hideo Kojima is listening to Evanescence. Of course he is. Hideo Kojima is a man of distinguished taste. Oh, she is just going nuts. And I am being brassy. Can I get her? Do I have to chase her around? Where did she go? Oh man. Okay. Maybe she ran back out. Oh, she's gonna be a frustrating little patoot. Yeah, Kojima, Hideo Kojima is a very strange figure in that he doesn't really seem to limit his taste in any capacity. Which, among game developers, is very rare. I've never really seen it, like, across multiple developers. It, it's just not done, you know? Oh, there she is. Oh. Okay, we're setting up traps, I think. His natural curiosity. He's he's consuming everything. What was it? He he made a statement that he like at certain points he was watching literally a movie a day, every day. Like that's just been his routine. That's that's what he does with his personal life. Oh my god, get back here. Please. Ma'am. I need your card. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Uh, this lady. Okay. So we gotta set up a trap, right? We gotta get her locked into a specific position. How do we do that? need to be able to get up there, which we haven't been able to yet. Wires on the floor won't let, let me keep pushing the file cabinet in this direction. Okay. I mean, if he doesn't consume a wide variety of media, how will he know what to reference in his next game? How will he get new friends? By this point, like, media is just about who will become Hideo Kojima's next friend. That's all it is now. Um, tried watching Escape from New York today for Hideo reasons, but I remember the very early part of the film. Part of it was filmed at my college, and I knew the exact same staircase they were going down, and I had to shut it off. Oh. Uh, hello? My name is Pasternak. It's nice to meet you. I'm Jung. What are you looking at? Do I have something on my face? No, I, I just find it weird to see, I mean, to see someone from HR around here. Yeah, well, it's because I'm investigating. Investigating? Yeah, you know, like a detective, Sherlock Holmes stuff, it's tight. Also, Lindsay, it was shut it for some reason. I don't know why that was what triggered Automod, but it was just the, it was just the phrase, shut it. <laughs> but yeah, that kind of familiarity is weird. Having lived in Savannah, Georgia, there are a lot of places where once you know 
uh, a particular strip in the northern side of Savannah's downtown area, you've seen like a quarter of the movies made in the past couple of decades. It's weird. Yeah, you know, like a Sherlock Holmes type. You can call me Sherlock Holmes. In fact, you look suspicious. What's your name? I just told you, I'm Pasternak. Mr. Pasternak. You're the prime suspect. Me? But what am I suspected of? I accuse you of blackmail, extortion, and coercion of HR employees. Oh, there's a thing in my throat. <clears> but <throat> well, I didn't do anything. <laughs> oh, take it easy. I was just practicing. We already know the identity of the offender. He's an employee on the fourth floor. But then, we already know who the culprit is. What are you investigating? We know who's behind the crime. We've already reported it to the union. But we need something else, something super important to be able to charge him. Evidence? Elementary, my dear Watsona. That's why I've come all this way to record a confession from the impertinent man without him noticing. And just now, I was about to get the evidence and solve the whole case. But you interrupted me. Do, do you want me to give you a hand to see if I can get that in? This evidence? Okay, I now have to kind of see this. Let's see. Come on, I can make this work. I can open this link. I can unbust this link. Oh, okay, yeah. Mind if I put it up on the stream? So this is for those of you who have seen Escape from L.A. If you've seen this stairwell, it's in a, it's in a college. It's in a movie. Oh, it's Escape from New York. Never mind. If you've seen Escape from New York, you've seen the stairwell. Interesting. This is my formal invitation to all present to save your money and not go to Art Center College of Design. <laughs> that sounds about right. <laughs> Do you want me to give you a hand and see if I can get that evidence? <laughs> Thank you, Watsona, but I don't need the help of a rookie. Um, wouldn't actually be that hard. I got a blank VHS tape. Aha! Oddly enough, you have a suspicious tape in your hands. What a coincidence. It, it's not suspicious. It's empty. There's nothing on it. I see. You're trying to throw me off with false evidence that leads to nowhere. I think it's best if I use the tape to record some conversation from the cameras. So, if we want to help her... I think, I think we need to help her in order to be able to get access to um, some areas deeper in. Like, we got to get to that vent behind her, right? That's the goal. Don't follow me. Don't follow me. Thank you. Appreciate it. So now... Huh. Go up this way, chase her out. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Can we find camera four? <sighs> it's probably over there. Mmm, damn it. Maybe no. Dang it. Huh. I wonder what's gonna get it for us. Okay, so here's six and eight. Six. Okay. Then yeah. <clears throat> Four is down there, and we don't really know how to get to it properly. Let's see, can I see anything through the wide screen? No? Damn. <laughs> is a lark a lurkin? That is, in fact, 
the call I have to make if I want to get her attention for stream. If not, I think I can actually send her a quick message. It's very doable. Let's see. So that's two. Lurk with an E. <laughs> She's going to hate that. <laughs> Uh, let's see. One. One floor. Zero. Huh. Are you melting solid chocolate or using chocolate powder? Um, I believe the idea is unsweetened cocoa powder. So, let's see if I can give Clark a little bit of a message. You're not going to see anything on screen, but... Let's see. Okay, I've sent out the call. Damn, this is gonna be tough. I think, I think we might end up getting stuck here for the night. I don't want to be. Something when you put water, uh, put in water and milk. Uh, Soy milk is specifically I decay if that matters. Ah, damn. I feel like I knew, used to know the answer to this. Unfortunately, I don't remember what it is. So I want to get over there. I want to hit the four. I don't think that is what we need, but looks like we can get around to a couple places. Yeah. Don't do that to me. If anybody's played this and happens to know the answer, I'm definitely at a point where I'm kind of like, I'll... <laughs> I definitely did not do anything right. Don't chase me. 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 Hey, don't chase me. Don't chase me. Okay. Hmm. Ah! Rude. He's still after me. Dang it. What an asshole. Yeah. So, I kind of know what we need to do. She's talking about something on the fourth floor. There are a couple of guys who are assholes. I don't know specifically what kind of malfeasance she's investigating. So part of me is like, yeah, the, um, the clues I was given to understanding this puzzle. And I can easily get back to her just by following this guy. Say not not particularly hard to get to. Hmm. She's not giving us more info, but there's a guy on the fourth floor. Who is up to some no good. And we need to get some kind of video, video as an evidence. Blah, blah, blah. Gotta go back to the sleazy part of the fourth floor. Yeah, we just gotta figure out, like... Because we have to use the blank VHS. That's kind of the... That's the puzzle part. Until we can figure out what that is going to get used for... Oh, no, don't chase me. Don't chase me. Let's let's go to the fourth floor. Go away. Go away. Leave me alone. Okay. Are you sure it's not an aura of personal failure? <laughs> Lindsay. 
Be nicer to yourself. Well, this please happens. Oh, too much powder. That could do it. All right. Let's see about... Okay, there was another clue, actually. That says five. What if we go and see if there's a... Something in the room that holds camera five. Maybe that has a detail that we're missing. <laughs> yeah, hi, Luck. So, Lindsay is doing a thing with unsweetened cocoa powder and soy milk and wants to make hot cocoa. And wants to make it nice and sweet. And there are concerns about making that happen. I also need a nick. Okay, so. It's also the problem of needing to get into room five. Son of a bitch. But we can't get to the other side of this. Okay, so I'm understanding. I'm understanding that there is a problem. Huh. But getting to the place, getting to that spot is proving to be very difficult. So it seems like that is our way to room five. To see the question in question. It's a good line. I like that. It was a bit ago. Okay, so I kind of understand the problem now. I think we have to... I think we have to first identify the problem on floor four. I also have to figure out how to get to area five of this place, which requires we get to the vent that's behind the HR agent. That's kind of how I'm breaking this down. So, either we go to floor four, Maybe floor five? Let's see, let's follow up on some of this. No, nothing. The question is why I am chewing my hot chocolate. Yeah, I, I think the assumption is that we were getting to the point of like too much powder. Let's see, floor four. Okay. Unfortunately, this is an area where... Uh, go away. I don't like you. <sighs> Who could it be that we're after? That's the other problem. Let's see. Maybe? No. Well, huh. There were some areas we didn't quite get to fully explore here, but I don't know if that's the solution. But we do have... Yeah! Let's see if we can do something new that we haven't been able to do before. Okay, so we got some extra items at the very least, but that's not really our solution that we need. Oh, we can squeeze in here. And this is a lot of stuff we've already done. Like, you can see that we have been through all of this mess.
there's actually been some places we've tried to get to that we weren't. Oh, okay. I need to heal up real quick. Yeah, Lark's the one to ask for stuff like that. They make a very killer. <gasps> in here. A very killer Coco. Race is about to start? Okay, I don't think that's it. Um. I don't know why there's several dots painted there. I don't know. Hmm. I'm gonna admit, I'm stumped on this one. Ah, I'm trying to think this through as best I can, but and I was kind of proud of myself for getting as far as I did. But now we're at a point where. Oh, are they not like actively? No, I'm, I'm not going to make the assumption. I'm going to keep avoiding them because I don't trust anything here. Yuppie psycho, keyboard clacking ASMR. I mean, desirable. Okay. Who would like to provide me with the hint? Because I feel like I've got a lot of good things in my head. I just don't seem to have them in the right order. I've been thinking that... Okay, so... The two possibilities are... Either the I would love one. Uh, the two possibilities I have are either go back to the witch, or not the witch, but I'm not going back in there. Fine. Yeah. Mm. Everything. Where have you seen a bell? Actually, you know what? I don't know. A bell. Let's think about this. Um, I... Bell, 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 2806. That's right, we still have to figure out that code. Don't we? Um, the garden was on the eighth floor, right? I know this isn't the only way we have to go. Um, keypad with numbers. Have I seen a keypad with numbers? Man, I am... I'm genuinely stumped. Okay, um... So I'm going to go down to the fifth floor because there is a shortcut to the garden that I need right now. Somewhere safe, take a breather. Man, it, it's, it's one of those times where I feel kind of dumb. You know what I mean? Let's at least check this out. Probably staring dead at what you need. Yeah. Well, one safe room that we have is freaking in our office. Bell, bell, bell. It's not the ding of the elevator, is it? Do I have a bell? Have we seen a bell? Am I overthinking this? Yeah, I am... It's been a bit. So what have we done in this game? 
What am I forgetting? I went through a lot of the garden. Um... Hell. Gosh. I feel like you can find Sintra in there somewhere off screen. I mean, somewhere. I had trouble finding her before. Because that's the one thing. That's another hanging thread. Because, like, Sintra has been findable in nearly every situation. But this time, I can't quite seem to locate her. Um, and I'm assuming this is because somewhere in the central area of the computer. Um, pretty much the safest zone we got. She has been... Kind of... Off the beaten path here. I might need a more explicit hint. I might... Like, I might actually be at the point where I'm just like... What? am I thinking? Where is my brain hitching? I really am just like frustrated that I don't know what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? Let's see. This has got to be aggravating for people who've played this game. Um, uh, so yeah, I don't I don't want to give it up purely, yeah, I want to at least make sure I landed something. You know what I mean? Um So I got it. I, hmm. If it helped, you came extremely close. So that kind of says to me that I am so very close by way of. How can I can't accept the information? Bell, bell, bell. Oh, God. This is so aggravating. <laughs> since it's a spot the difference that was comically close oh god that's even more aggravating <laughs> um i think that's like one of those things that like it sounds helpful it does um because i know we've also like we can't have seen everything right we, we can't have seen everything here um And I can't... Hmm. I, I, I am so frustrated that I can't figure this one out. I want to figure this out. I want to be able to... Okay, so what, what all have I been talking about? Let's look at all the data that we actually have. I want to open up my notepad and actually look at it. You're not going to find it in the PC. Okay. So the only thing I can think of is that it's a code for the elevator. I had this thought a little bit ago because I saw a bell. I saw a little bell icon, so like bell, 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 two, eight, zero. Oh my god, there we go. I was kind of sitting there like, there's no way. I, you know what the problem was? You know, the problem that I had, and this sucks, it's a silly problem. I actually had the moment where I was like, the keypad can't be the elevator. It can't be. There's no way it's the elevator. That seems, it doesn't seem stupid, but it seems weird. 
because I did sit there going, the ding of the elevator? Is that a bell? <sighs> I did figure it out though. I did figure it out. Oh my God. Hey, hey, hey. We don't have any pencils. Shit. Okay, you know what? That's fair. Now, now we can do it. So, no, get me out of here. Go to five. We're going to get a snack. <laughs> it really was that simple of a problem for me. I was just kind of sitting there like, no, for some reason, I can't accept that being the solution, which is utterly ridiculous. Oh, I want to keep a couple of pencils. Okay, so. Oh, thank you for your patience. Um, let's go over the details then. Sierra Games Logic. I think it's that. I think it was just, just silly enough or just obtuse enough. I kind of sat there. I was like, nah. Okay, so. We're going to punch it in at the elevator. If it doesn't, um, if it doesn't work, Like, no. If it is a problem of something like being kind of difficult to work with, what am I saying? My brain is just like flatlined. It's at the top of the day. I ha I've gotten like four hours of sleep. That might be the other thing. You know what? That might be also related to the problem. Um, so I'm going to quit out. Let us enjoy some music for a second. Um, we'll go over our notes. So what did we accomplish? Um, we got through floor four and we got through the hive we helped mr chapman despite him being such an utter problem we saved kate uh and now we're helping um an hr rep who is sherlock Holmes, and we are her watsona and we need to get to we need to get use the blank dhs to get data on somebody on the fourth floor that she's investigating she needs hard evidence um, once we help her, we'll be able to access a great behind her, which is great. <laughs> um, I'm actually kind of surprised I was able to get that with the, without having to consult the guy because I am really trying to like, make this as clean a run as possible. Um, what else? Um, we have four security cards for chasing down a TV had a girl who probably has the fifth security card. It's what we need to get to the back. Um, we have another grate that we cannot access because the exit's clogged, which is coincidental because it has a five written above it and the only place the grate that, uh, behind the HR agents lead, could possibly lead to that we can see is the area for security area five that looks at the fifth floor. And I have my guess is that once we fix that, we have our way to the fourth security camera. So that's a lot of things all at once. Um, I don't really like, I, I'm kind of digging how obtuse it is, um, even though I got really stuck. So we're good. We're done for the day. My brain is tired and we'll be able to hit this tomorrow, which is great because I think if I uh, did not go after this right away, it'd be a problem. So I want to thank everybody for coming today. <laughs> I know that was frustrating. And you know what? We did it. And y'all gave really good hints. Y'all let me figure it out myself. That was legitimately impressive. Like y'all threaded that needle so well. And I actually really do appreciate not just giving me the answer. Um, now I get to have a little bit of pride about being able to get that little bit extra further. Um, yeah, that was nice. Thank y'all. Uh, so I've been Robin and Jack. And it will continue to be so for the foreseeable future. Uh, if you want to support like the channel or the videos, follow, subscribe for exclusive emotes on Twitch. Uh, click the notification bell. Uh, subscribe on YouTube too. Just to know when, just so you get videos in your inbox every day, literally every day. Um, 
yeah, I think that's everything. Videos in perpetuity on Twitch and YouTube.com slash at Andrewgat. With that, thank you once again. Get hydrated, get vaccinated, get masked up. Be good. Be safe. Be awesome. Be gone. Bye. <laughs>